So here I have a selection of Mary Rose style bows, ranged from the shortest to the biggest style of bows they had on the Mary Rose. Now these are, are basic replicas, so they're not exactly measurement for measurement, they're just um, the length measurement taken and the handle measurement taken, because the rest of it is is how the stave um, lets you work it. You can't you can't copy <clears throat> one self bow to another. It doesn't work. So this is the this is the shortest one. Um, it's 125 at 28. Now I've only taken it to 28 because it's so short. Um, but it doesn't mean it's a slow bow. It it's very fast. It's a like I say, it's 125. I think. Uh, yeah, 125 at 28 inches. I'll have a 28 inch arrow, like they had on the Mary Rose. They had 28 inch arrows. Um, we we'll shoot that out of this bow um, and see what speed it goes. Oh, I'm also going to shoot that out of the other four bows as well, just to see just to see what it's like. The next next bow is an interesting one. It, this is 110 at 30 inches. Uh, which was the average arrow length, 30, 30 and a half inches for the Mary Rose. Now this one's got a hemp string on it. Um, loop both ends, hemp string. You can hear how good they are. So uh, we'll shoot that, that's also in the mix. So we'll shoot that and see what that does. Next is 145 at 30 inches. Um, you can see that they're not big bows. They're 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 not what well, what I mean by big is they're not big in the hand. Um, they're quite slender, but they still hold a high draw weight. The next one is 150 at 30 inches. Again, he's not a big bow in the hand. And the last one is is a is a big bow. Is 160 at 30. Uh, it's actually what I used on uh, when filming with Todd for for the uh, armor piercing penetration stuff, um, and we've also got a, a range of woods here. So we've got English yew, the little one's English yew. This one is a Pacific yew from America. This one is Swiss yew. This one's also Pacific U and the last one's Swiss U as well. So there's a big range of woods in there. Um, so we should be able to see what speed we get from each bow. Now we've got four, uh, no, three arrows. And so we've got the 28 inch one, that weighs 60 grams. We've got a 30 inch one that weighs 63 grams and a Another 30 inch one is oak and it weighs 75 grams. So I'm going to shoot, shoot all of these arrows out of all of these bows and see see what we get from them. Um, yeah, so we go from there really. So first I got the 125 at 28 with the 28 inch arrow. Two oh one. The same bow, same bow with a sixty three gram thirty inch arrow, but only drawn to twenty eight. Hundred and ninety four. And the 
last is the 75 gram 30 inch arrow drawn to 28. Hundred and seventy-nine. We'll go and collect them arrows and do the next bow. Next one is the uh, one hundred and ten pounds at thirty with the hemp string. Shooting the 60 gram 28 inch arrow first. Hundred and eighty seven. Next is the 30 inch 63 gram. Hundred and eighty five. Last one is 75 grams at 30 inch. A hundred and seventy five. Next is the 145 at 30, the 60 gram 28 inch arrow first, 213. Next is the 33 gram 30 inch arrow. Hundred, 211. Did I say 113 on the last one? I meant 213. This was 211. And the 75 gram, 30 inches, last one. Hundred and ninety four. Next is the hundred and fifty pound at thirty inches. First twenty eight inch arrow. Two hundred and seven.
63 gram 30 inch. Two oh six and last the seventy five gram thirty inch. Sorry about that, my phone ran out of memory, so the last shot for the hundred and fifty that yeah the hundred and fifty pound bow at thirty inches with the hundred no with the seventy five gram arrow is hundred and ninety three point five. Now last is the hundred and sixty pounds at thirty inches bow. First with the twenty eight inch arrow, sixty grams. Two hundred and fourteen. Next is the thirty inch uh, sixty three gram arrow. Two hundred and nine. And last is seventy five grams, thirty inch. Hundred and ninety nine point five, which is pretty good for a seventy five gram arrow. So we had some good results there, some were a bit lower um, than I would normally get, I think. Only a sort of a few feet per second, but it's probably me a bad loose, something like that. Um, but the main point is, it doesn't matter where the U comes from, so we've got uh, three different types of U there, English U, Pacific U, Swiss U, another Pacific U bow and another Swiss U bow. It doesn't matter where it's from, as long as it's good U, it's good, it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, the hemp, the hemp string performed well, it's still in one piece, um, they're, they're really good strings. This bow is a bit slower, but then it's got a slight bit of deflex. Um, the stave, before I made the bow, had natural, about a half to an inch of natural deflex, so it's never going to be the fastest bow in the world because of that deflex. Um, but the strings are fine, holds up well, it keeps, uh, it keeps up with natural, uh, with, sorry, it keeps up with modern uh, materials, no problem. The only thing I would say is uh, a bit like a bow itself, it's a natural material so you don't know how long it's going to last. That's where you, that's where you uh, gain from uh, modern materials is they, you know they're going to last a fair amount of time whereas this, it might last 10 shots or it might last 10,000, I don't know. Um, I've had uh, one linen string the same as this on a £170 bow it lasted about three and a half thousand shots and then broke. And I've had another one that's lasted ten and then broke. Um, but so yeah, had some good results there, uh, some pretty good speeds. Uh, I'll be doing a few more uh, arrow speed shoots um, videos, sorry, in the, coming up in the next few days. Uh, next lot will be 
some fiberglass flat bows and recurves and that sort of thing. Um, a bit like this. Bows like this but made of wood and fiberglass, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, and thanks for watching.